I want to talk about something that some people may have confused. Some people believe that they are a really good person. And from an earthly view, they may really be a good person. They may pay their taxes. They may not commit any crimes, per se, or anything that may get them in a lot of trouble. They may love their wife, children, and their family members. They may even go to church from time to time. They may mind their own business and go on their way just doing what they really want. Not really bothering anyone, just living life, I guess you can say. And they may say, since they are a good person, they deserve to go to heaven. The thing about it, now that may sound good, that may sound right, but when you are not following God's rules and regulations, you are not good. The standard is not your own, meaning as long as I am following, following this standard here, I know that I am good. The standard that this earth sets up is not right. We must go by the standard of what God has placed. If we don't follow that standard there, we are not good. We are not righteous. When some people hear the word perfect or hear the word righteous, <clears throat> they may say to themselves, no one can ever be righteous. No one can ever be perfect because when someone hears in an earthly way, when someone hears the word righteous, they see like a godly, a person who is not human. Like when a person hears the word righteous and perfect, they don't see a human being. They see someone that is not human where they don't do anything wrong, even in their past, they have not done anything wrong. They always do everything right. And they can't excel any higher than where they are now. So pretty much God status. That is not right. This is the reason why we must go by the definitions of the Bible. We can't go by our own way of thinking. You are righteous. You are made perfect when you begin to follow God's rules and regulations. This is why the Bible tells us 
to not go by our own way of thinking. Paraphrasing. So, you may say, well, if not following Jesus Christ is going to send me to hell when I think that I am a good person, there is no point in serving God because I should be able to do whatever I want to do. We have freedom of will, but when someone makes you, you have to do what that person who created you wants you to do. Make sense? Now, if you want to do what you want to do, perhaps you need to make yourself. Go to your own realm, make your own world, make your own humans. <laughs> then live life as you please. But if you can't recreate yourself, which I can't do, which you can't do either, you have to observe the rules and regulations of God. You have to. Because if you don't, you are rebelling just like Lucifer did, Satan. Whether you have spoke with him or not, whether you have covenant agreements with him or not, you are on his team if you choose to not go by God's rules and regulations. And let me say this. There was a person that commented to me in the comment section speaking about God's sacrifice when Jesus Christ died he was speaking about that God has paid for our past present and future sins pretty much saying that you can't lose your salvation I don't have the scripture on me right now. I may have to look it up or post it in the comment section. But to paraphrase it a bit, what the Bible was saying in this area, that God would blot your name out of the book of life if you didn't choose, if you do not choose to serve him. So, if you can't lose your salvation, how can God blot your name out of the book of life? So, that means that your name can be placed in and your name can be taken out. So, if it is true that you can't lose your salvation, that you can continue to sin as much as you like and you won't go to hell, how can God blot your name out, take out your name in the book of life? If your name is not in the book of life, you won't be able to go to heaven. You know, in certain parties, I guess, you need reservations. Like your name has to be in that particular book there. Well, if your name is not in the book of life, <laughs> you can't go to heaven. Like I said, I may post the scripture in the comment section. So I pray that all of this makes sense. 
you are not good. No matter how many good deeds, as in helping out the poor, helping your mom and dad, giving food to, I believe I said help out the poor, doing things for people, no matter how many times you do that for people, if you are not following God's rules, what you are doing is in vain. Now, I believe that you are going to reap what you sow when you do good for people. But if you are not obeying God fully, your works on this earth is in vain. Let me say this too. And I believe people get confused by this. Works and following God's rules are not considered the same thing. Works as in doing good things for people. That is not the same thing as following God's rules and regulations. That is not the same thing. God cares about obedience from the Old Testament to, to the New Testament. God cares about obedience. You can't show me anywhere in the Bible where it is not speaking about following God's rules and regulations. You can't show me. Everywhere, just about everywhere, I believe, it is telling you to obey God. It is telling you to repent, confess your sins, repent of your sins. Everywhere. Even with the Apostle Paul, he is telling you about grace, but if you continue to read in Ephesians and Romans, he is speaking about holiness as well. But some people like to think that grace replaces righteousness, which it doesn't. Grace helps us to serve God, to obey God. I know before, I believe... I told you all so much already, but back when I was in sin, I tried to do right, but I could not really do right. So God had grace on me. Well, he still has grace on me, but grace is to help us to serve God. With grace, we get blessed by God even when we don't deserve to be blessed. We may not get punished as much as we deserve because of grace. But grace does not say, hey, you no longer have to obey God. Because I told this person, if you believe that you can sin all you want and all you have to do is believe in Jesus Christ, I said to this person, will a consistent pedophile, a person who rapes kids every day, are you telling me that person will get into heaven as long as they believe in God and they continue to rape children until they die? I mean, until that person dies. Are you telling me that person will go to heaven based upon this once saved, always saved doctrine that is out there? Are you telling me that that person is going to heaven? I did not get an answer back. Because if that person was to say yes, that is evil. What type of God would allow a persistent pedophile into heaven? What type of God will allow a persistent sinner 
not willing to change, but but wants to continue to do the evil that they are doing. What type of God will allow that? Not the God of the Bible. Because if he allows persistent sinners into heaven, guess what? He would have to allow Satan back into heaven. And I don't believe Satan is able to stay in heaven. I don't believe it. I would be really shocked. <laughs> So stop thinking that you are good. Just because you do good things does not make you good. There are people who kill other people. They, I am sure, or I would guess, they are able to do good things, but doing good things does not make you good. For instance, let's take that pedophile. That pedophile could treat or give good things to kids like candy and food and toys and stuff like that, but it does not mean that pedophile is good. Doing good things does not make you good. So let me stop here. I am sure that you get my point now. If you don't, God bless you. <laughs> okay, God bless.